Hedgehog Hollow. Today is Tidy Tuesday because I don't know about you but I've had lots of time to clean and organize my craft room while we've been at home and I wanted to share with you some of the things I've been using because storage is just one of those things everybody loves when we put it here at Hedgehog Hollow so much so that next month's subscription box is going to be a storage box so you can go check that out as well thehedgehoghollow.com slash shop but today I have some of my new favorite storage items I've been using in the office I've been using them in the craft room so I'm going to show you some ways that you can use them too the first thing are these new pencil cases that Arteza sent me. They're a fairly new release, but they're super cool. They come in a few different fabric designs and you can open them up. So they're like a folio inside. You can see here um, all the different leaves you've got. And then they have really big pockets too. So you could fit a full Nuvo marker in. You can fit the smooth precision glue pens in here. You can see it's a really, really big pocket. So you can fit that. You can fit your Copic reinkers in here. And there's a really nice expandable zip. So you've got lots and lots of room to fill it with all your goodies. You can put colored pencils in here. And each one is a separate piece. Um, but they're all tied together with this binding in the middle. I really, really like these. And then you've got a place in here to put your paper or you know your extra supplies, those kinds of things. So those we have been using um, a lot for the girls as well. Each of the girls have one to put all of their craft supplies in too. And then I found these over at Arteza. We've been using these in our family organization station. They have little magnets on the back, so they'll go onto any whiteboard or you know anything magnetic that you might have around the craft room. And they're great because I can fit safety scissors in them. I can fit my art spree markers, my Nuvo markers. Um, you can also put them together, so you can have like these little cubes like this that sit on the desktop as well. So you can just use them like this if you don't want to put them on something. So lots and lots of different ways you can use these, and they come in a pack of four. I have got a link below and a special Arteza coupon as well that you can use across the whole store. And then I found this. This one has actually kind of been adopted by Maddie, but this is their desk organizer. I really like this. Look at this. So I can fit absolutely everything in here. So at the back here, I have my card bases um, and you know some colored card stocks. I have all of my tools. They are two separate little uh, cubbies in here. So you see you've got two separate cubbies everything fits in and then you have these two cubbies at the front too so in here I have like a little um, blending I can fit my scotch tape in here on my heat tape I can fit my adhesive upside down so it's always ready to go there's a little drawer over here too um, and in here I have my little foamies to go on my little tool here I put my uh, adhesives on here so you could line a few up or just have your favorite one you could also put something like your coconut on there too so you could put your stamp chamois on here this one is really nice because it keeps everything together and nice and compact so that's another option you have and then my absolute favorite so much so we have two of these one for the craft room one for the office is this new metal construction kit comes as a pack of six so this is what it looks like on the box you can see they've used it on a desk but I have been using it for my craft supplies so you get a magazine holder which you can of course use for inspiration sheets you can also fit your card stock and things in here and then you get the letter tray version and it's in this lovely mint color which I really like this obviously a lot of my things are pink so this goes with it really nicely you get the pen pot so you can put all your essential tools in there um, there is the little memo card holder and what we've done is we've been storing our little scratch pieces in here I did a tutorial with um, Arteza a while back last year it's in the Arteza playlist um, but these are cool because you can stamp on here or you can write a little message um, and scratch off the design underneath um, and it was just really good fun so we've been keeping those in there and then we can each write messages to each other um, and then you also get there's a business card holder but what's the one thing I always use my amalgam ink so I've had my amalgam ink just kind of sitting on there because then it's always there ready to go ready for me to grab and this one's really nice too because I can fit in here this is the letter tray but I can fit my misty my card bases my finished cards in here and also my you know like watercolor pads those kinds of things so I can fit all those things that I want close to hand and I really like those and it comes in a couple of different color options and things but I really love this like minty blue color um, the other option we have um, that I have shown you before but now there's a few different alternatives is the marker case so whether you have art spree markers Nuvo markers chameleon you know any kind of markers you can use these cases 
So this is full of the Arteza markers and you can buy this empty. It's expandable. You can see there's an extra piece in the back here. And then if I want this to stand up, I can just put these Velcro pieces together and I can make it into one that stands up or I can open this up and then just have it and flip through it like a folio style. Um, it does have a carry strap and zips, you know, so you can put all your extra nibs and stuff in there as well. But now they've done it in this large size. So I'm thinking of putting, you know, lots of my Nouveau markers and things in here. Obviously, I'm not traveling at the minute, but it also keeps everything together. So this is the bigger one. Um, and you can see lots and lots of storage space in here as well. Same thing that you can um, add the Velcro pieces together and keep the ends closed. So if you want your ends closed, you can absolutely do that. Um, but I really, really like these. Another zip pocket in the back here. So this is how I have been tidying up my craft room. Um, you can also see more on Storage Saturday as well. Um, but I really want to share with you, you know, my favorite things because tidying up craft room, keeping it organized, it's so important to be able to find things. So um, if you're looking for markers, I suggest keeping things in rainbow order or um, you might want alphabetical order for some things, but I try to keep as much as I can in rainbow order because then when I'm looking for something, I'm always gonna know that my greens are here, my blues are here, my yellows are here, etc., etc. So you'll notice when you go into my craft room, everything is absolutely rainbow ties. And the reason for that is so I can find things. I also love keeping things in cases. I always have a tip of keeping like things together um, because for instance, I could put all my Prisma pencils in here, all my art stream markers, and I know that there's one of every color in there and I know where to go and look for them. And it also helps, you know, if say uh, one of the girls like Ali's crafting in there and she's like, well, where is that? I can say, oh, it's in that particular pencil case. So I just find that so much easier. And I love being able to have things. I have to have things on display for me to use them. I'm not a crafter who can put things behind closed doors. So I'm always looking for that pretty storage. I'd love to know what you've been up to in your craft room, if you've got any storage challenges. We are doing Friday Craft Nights Live. We'll be having a storage and organization one coming up too. Um, but right now we've been doing one with Iron On Ink. We have one coming up with the Hedgehog Hollow Box this Friday. Um, so come join us. You can check out all that info on the channel. Or if you go to thehedgehoghollow.com, you can sign up for our newsletter and we'll send out all the information on those as well. So thanks for hopping on with me today. Check out the links below to all these fun Arteza things, plus of course that coupon code as well. And um, so you can save on the storage, you can save on some markers, some scratch uh, notes that you could have fun with. And you can check out the video I did with them last year where I scratched out some of my stamps and it made a super, super cool card. So thanks for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow with another tip trick tutorial or maybe it's something a little bit different, but I'll see you then. Bye.